This is the hinge and turn drill. And the purpose of the drill is to learn the correct hinging, but also the timing of that hinging. All right, so this is one of the more common things that I see players struggle with. And whether it's the actual hinging motion itself, or whether it's just the timing of when they hinge, um, I, just, I feel like this is quite a common thing that, that players struggle with. So what I tend to see is that players tend to hinge the club a little bit too late. And what that leads to is certainly some uh, sort of loss of synchronization, okay? Because when you, when you do hinge the club, that club head moves quite a long way. Um, but also it leads to sort of split plane issues. So what we tend to see is that players start the swing with the shoulders, sometimes the legs, and it's a nice turn, but obviously that club then gets under the plane, and then they try and rescue that with some arm lift and then some hinge. So you get this sort of really disconnected looking backswing. All right, so the hinge and turn draw is just going to allow you to hinge earlier, turn later in the swing, okay, and then that'll help you synchronize, but also keeps the club online. So right, so we do all of our hinging to start. You can see a nice full wrist hinge there. Make sure you stay in your posture, and then you just turn slight elevation of the arms to finish the backswing. Hinge, turn, swing.